Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. And this is more Grand Theft Auto V Online. And today we're going to be doing the MOC. And this is part two of our MOC setup. All right. So I thought I'd put this in here. I split up the original episode. So for those of you just clicking on this episode, you may want to click on part one, the previous episode, um, to see the rest of it. And uh, here we're going to finish the rest of the MOC. There's basically a lot to the episode, a lot to the MOC, the Mobile Operations Center. And uh, try to go through every part that we can just to learn a little bit about everything. All right. So on with part two. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Okay, well, let's see. Are we lucky enough to get our plate to work today, everybody? Yay, Mrs. Zuck. All right. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to go yellow and black. Just because I think that looks sharper. All right. Nice. Always like when that works. Okay, library. None. <laughs> well, easy choice there. Apparently there is some new, I've heard rumor that uh, for Independence Day, um, July 4th, there should be some new libraries and things like that. And you would hope that they're going to be more in the future. Maybe some camo ones would be nice. Something like that. Okay, so respray and weapons. Custom weapons. Weapons. Front turret, front and rear turrets. This can be unlocked for purchase via research. So you've got to research the, uh, the front and rear turrets in order to get some more. The front turret we already have included. Very cool. There's a little camera there on the top right with the red on it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, not really any options there though. And respray. Primary and secondary color. Okay. Well, at least none of the things are locked, like chrome. I don't know why you'd want chrome. Maybe make it hide <laughs> the reflection up against the river or something. Ah, uh, classic. So it's already in classic black. Here it is in matte black. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one, guys, because there's all kinds of good colors you can pick in this. Going to make it look all military style, maybe tan. Um, you can put the pearlescence. Yeah. On there, might be able to try our, our, uh, our trick on here, too. The pearlescent matte black trick. Probably work on here, being that you can access the uh, license plate. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, 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 crew colors and classic colors. Why does it have the star in there? Uh, I must unlock some recently. Sticker purple. Awesome. Okay. Well, I am gonna. I like the black for now. So let's uh, let's hop out to customize cab. All right, armor. Well, that's definitely needed. And it's on sale. All the better. So thirty-seven thousand five hundred on sale for this. I believe it's twenty-five percent off on that right now. There we go. So now we're armored up. Brakes. Race brakes for thirty-five thousand. Take it. Nice. Nice, good view. There's me over there, hanging out with him. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, engine. All right, 33,000 for level four. Look at that acceleration go up. Oh, strap yourself in. Nice. All right. Horn, I think we're going to leave default. Oh, so it's a different type of truck horn. There's a truck horn here. It's been in the game for a while. Now the stock horn. I think it's got a little bit more depth. I think I'm going to keep the deeper one. But there is musical options for those that want it. That's what I think, dude. <laughs> and loop options. I've got some in here because I bought them in the past. Cool. Alright. Lights. Looks like just one option, which would be headlights. Too bad because they're due and there's usually other lights on trucks. Alright, so the lights are 7500. Take that. And a plate. It looks like we've already gotten the plate from the back, so that also changes the truck too. So don't need to do that after doing it on the trailer. And we'll get into the respray in a second. Suspension. Hmm. And it's probably not the better for off-roading, but how can you resist lowering it? Low, low, low. A low riding truck. Competition suspension. <laughs> Sold for 3400 all right, transmission, race transmission for 40,000. That'll help our gears. And turbo for 50,000. A little extra something never hurt. Yeah, I agree. Never hurt. All right, windows. Well, we know we like the tinted windows. Doesn't tint the front, just the sides. So it's just size for 5,000. Ah, oh, I still look. Good. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I just look. All right, wheels. All right, bulletproof tires and custom burnout smoke. Bulletproof tires and custom burnout smoke. Okay, tire enhancements. Oh, so it doesn't come standard with bulletproof tires. That's good to know. You'd think it would, 
you know, being what it is, but I guess not. So bulletproof tires are on sale for under for eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty thousand seven hundred fifty. So I think that's twenty five percent off. Tire smoke. Mm. Might change that later. It's not expensive. I think I'll keep the black tire smoke for now. All right, guys. Well, that's more or less the truck complete, without getting into um, aesthetics like uh, like the uh, the paint jobs. So, is it a classic black right now? Yeah. I don't know. It is nice looking in the classic black. Maybe it's just the darkness in here. But I do like that for now. And has no secondary on the uh, on the truck either. And the trailer didn't have secondary. I thought it did. Yeah, so the trailer does have a secondary, which is good to know. Maybe I'll call Matt. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could change views, but you can't move camera. Well, yeah, but move it where? See, you can't move it anywhere. No, I want to see the different views. All right, I was thinking black and red on that, but because then it matches that uh, top, because I think those are red anyway. Yeah, those lights on the side, right? And classic red. From the reds. That might be just a little bit brighter than I was thinking. So I think I was right with the map. That red right there. Damn it. I just threw away 6,000 because I'm going dark red. <laughs> All right. I think that's everything. I don't know because I'm going to have to make up my mind. I'm not really sure what kind of uh, what kind of looks I would want it to be. Yeah, and I'm really happy with the way it looks right now, actually. Yeah, you can see the reflection in there and everything. Yeah, now we got a little bit more of a sleek look there. Okay, so you can do the pearlescence, you can do all that kind of stuff, you can do the metals. Ooh, metals. Like brushed black steel. Which usually looks good on some things. It's kind of strange though, like it's like it's all of it. Oh yeah, I know, I see. The front is just kind of stays that flat gray the whole time. Huh. Yeah, but just when you go to the brushed black steel, it makes it almost look like one tone, because you can't make it out. Yeah, interesting, all right. Well, I think I might try the matte and pearlescent trick on this in the future and do it twice on the two of them. Usually you go through, maybe I should do it now that we've talked about it. But we have to pick a matte color first, so we're going to pick our black. Beautiful. There we go. And now what you do is you pop back out, go to your plates. We're going to change it in a second because we already changed it. So you got to change a plate. Okay, pop back out. Go back to your spray. Pick your metallic. Just sit on it for a second. Now pop back out and go to burlesque. Oh, it didn't work. Didn't work that time. Maybe it's metallic first. Yeah, we'll try that again. Metallic. Sit on it. Pop back out. Pick it again. Back in respray. Up. Pearlescence. There we go. Weird. So, you play with your plate and then it lets you into pearlescence. You always, you already want to have your mat selected though. Okay, so now I have now pearlescence. That it said just a second ago that we can't do that. Now we're doing it. So now we are adding a pearlescence. I think we're going to go red because we went red in the back, right? It uh, would look great in a lot of shades. Wine red. Please red. Love red. I like how they don't have a lot of these colors locked either, so they seem to be unlocked for a lot of people. Which is good, because you can't really run races with these yet. <laughs> Alright, there's our red. Three no red. Yeah, 
Maybe the lava red is good. All right, lava reds. Yeah. All right, guys. So those that want to see it twice, I mean, I hope it's not too long for you. <laughs> let's go to the customized trailer. All right. And uh, let's see. Respray. So let's see if we can get it right this time to show you guys. And hopefully it works on the trailer just to see. So primary color. We want to change that to our matte. All right. So in this case, we're going to use black because that's what I wanted to go with. Look at that. Okay, so matte black on it. Now we're going to pop back out and we're going to, uh, 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 what is it? Yes, metallic. So now we're sitting on metallic. I'm not picking anything. I'm just letting it sit there. Okay. Now I'm popping back out all the way, picking our plate, changing it back to blue. Just any color will do. You can change it back after. Pop back in, back to our respray. Back to our primary, up to pearlescent, there we are. Now we are in pearlescence with a matte braid shop. Just not supposed to, it's, I don't know, it's strange how it lets you in, and I don't know why Rockstar just doesn't let you in. Like that, strange. Okay, so I think we're gonna pick our matching lava red. If it's in here, yeah, there it is. Okay, unfortunately, I can't really get a good view on that, can we? Well, that's my kind of brutal. All right. See, hopefully they give us some camo and stuff in the future. Okay, guys, so that works. Okay, so that is everything. Let's exit. Bye. Bye. Good job, man. You seem to just stand here and talk with me, but I picked most of the stuff. But hey, that's all right. <laughs> you must have been the one slapping it on. Okay, can't jump in here. Can't climb on. Oh, no, we're not done. We need to change our license plate black to black. Back to black. Back to black. Got something in mind? Uh, do it from the trailer, why not? Plate, black, there we go. Okay, so for some reason the plate does it. I don't know if there's other options that help, Ready but the plate roll. seems to make the difference. All right, so here it is, the MOC. Yeah, all right, woo. Like I said, I've been looking forward to our customizable truck and especially one that can fit your, uh, your vehicle in the back. That's awesome. Yeah. Turn lights? No, not inside. Here we go. Pops you back outside and restarts it. Yeah, we're still on our own. People came and went though. Wow, she's got a lot of size to her. What time is it? Almost sunset. We should have lots of light to have a look here. So this one's easier to climb up on. The uh, the, the uh, polar I've tried, and it's a little harder to climb up on. You can, but it's hard. This one's a little easier. All right. Excellent. Very cool. Oh, and what will we... Uh, what do we call in? Hmm. Let's call it mechanic. I did have a car inside the vehicle, but they're inside the bunker. I don't know where. I'm on the clock. Be. What you want? Some wheels? It's probably still in there. Do we want our insurgent in the back? Well, yeah, something big. You guys probably know that little things can fit. I'll there. bring Let's it by. Grab something big to put in there, right? Okay. So looks pretty good, and we've got it in our mat pearlescent trick, even on this one. That's awesome. I like that. Customizable truck, bulletproof tires, no options for the rims, that's too bad. You know, at the very least they could have given us some color options, you know, to make that matching black or something, or even just a, a dark gray, you know, would have been nice. Yeah. So we're going to take that around, but let's grab our truck here. Oh, All right. Grab our heavy insurgent. HBY insurgent. It's nicknamed the heavy insert, and I don't think that's actually what it is. <laughs> okay, so what do I do? Just pull up here. You can't access your vehicle storage with a mission objective. Uh, mission objective? Hmm. Destroy this vehicle in your mobile. Oh, okay. So I just kind of avoid the blue thing, just pull up near it. Yeah, I'll start it in there. Weird. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. So, now we're inside the truck, and there's our, our insurgent. As you can see, it fits nice. 
Yep, so it should give you guys room for your APCs and all kinds of stuff, and just regular vehicles you want to take your sports car along and feel Hi. all James Bondy. Yep, that's pretty cool. You can see all the way back. All right, now let's uh, access our our turret. I think the one that included is this one. So you got to research more in your bunker to be able to unlock the other ones. I think you have to add, buy them and add them on at that little mobile base that we were just at. And there we go. Okay. So here we are inside the gun turret. You can zoom in. It's got a slow zoom in. Not the greatest, but at least it gives you something. And it is very, very deadly. Let's see if we can find somebody. Who's the unlucky guy? Oh, this one. Yeah, single shot. It's explosive round. Takes out most regular vehicles. No problems. For now, generally speaking, the police cannot get you inside here. Now, there's been some reports of people getting busted, which is not really supposed to happen in, in the online game, but so people aren't sure if that's a glitch or if that's the way it's supposed to be. But that said, lots of people have tried to get it to happen. It can never seem to happen. It just seems to like rarely it'll randomly happen when they get close to you like that. Oh, it looks like we got a lot of fire on there. So that's that. We got two stars right now. It's got a good range too. Yep, you can hit um, helicopters with it and things like that pretty easy. Oh, they exploded. Yeah, so decent range. Here comes the police. Yep. So let's hop back. Alright, so we've got three stars. I think it actually... Let's see if it clears the stars when we hop out here. Can you stand up? So we can see them on our map around us. Let's see what happens. You can even have your weapons ready in here. That's good. What's up, Chief? What's up, man? We're gonna go with that and see what happens. See if the cops are still on me or not. Yep, they are. So I think when that first out came out, for some people, it would actually clear your stars when you went out. So now we're gonna go back inside. So it doesn't stop you, unlike other things, which is kind of nice to know. There we go. No stars. See that, guys? Now I'm star-free. So let me go back out. See if we can catch them before they leave. See? Stir free. So, for now, I don't know if they'll change that, but for now, it's an easy way to clear your stars. Um, I think when it first came out, it was happening whenever you went in and out, but it seems like now you have to go in and out to get that to happen. Cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. California sun. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, man. That yeah, looks like the fire's, clear. the fire's cleared up a little bit for us. Same about moving the truck, because I didn't know if it would do damage. Now, the truck is very tough, but, you know, eventually it would get it. Alright. So, that is the MOC. Now she's fully loaded, fully customized. A big trailer. I approve. Very nice. So um, on most uh, directional, I crashed a little bit there. On most um, uh, game controllers, you uh, would simply hold down your button for the uh, lights, and that's usually to unhook your controller, I believe. Yep. So there we go. So I can leave this behind. And then I have a very fast truck on my hands that uh, has bulletproof, uh, bullet-resistant stuff going on. Yep. Yep. Takes. Uh, Ooh, those brakes could use some work. <laughs> but yeah, it takes many shots. Let's test out that bullet-resistant glass here, just to be sure. It looks like, I can tell already looking at it, but it didn't actually say anything about it when we were doing it, right? Oh yeah, that's definitely bullet-resistant. Yeah. See, there's no, this door has no uh, glass damage on that side. So if it was going through, it would have been just that, right? Three shots, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten shots. Huh. I'm pretty sure that's a little less than the uh, V12 usually gives me. But still, blood resistant glass. And it looks like your whole windshield is one. Let's try to shoot this way just to be sure. See if it's actually getting through or not. No. No, it's not getting through. Not yet, anyway. Oh, hey. <laughs> Duke's hazard jumping there. Why don't you stand up there? Stand up there. Yeah, now it's getting through. Yeah. 
Yep, and there was a dog to be on the side, so it does have some bullet resistance as well. Before it was second. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Nice bright lights. A little bit too close. <laughs> a little too quickly. But we got it. And this is where that hauler has a tighter turning radius. But as you can see, the Phantom's not bad. And away we go. Mm -hmm. Yep, she got a good pickup. And some people think that this, the, uh, the Phantom, has a better... Um, durability and by that they mean that that it doesn't get warped for going off-road so certain cars if you get the uh, front wheels warped or things like that it can mess up your ability to drive but some people think that this is actually pretty tough framed tougher than you would think it would be all right so let's go get our truck out here let's see how that is and then i think that's everything guys yeah there is a lot to that a lot a lot a lot to that well even more than i thought there was but like i said it's almost like the trailer alone is a is its own choice what I just hop in? Yeah. Cool. Sitting inside there. No radio? No, no radio. You gotta pull it for that. And it usually pops you down, as you can see, spawns you on a nearby road somewhere, so who knows where it'll put you. But still, you can have your you deploy your vehicle wherever you are, so on the go and you away you go and you can deploy it all out. All this stuff right here is all mine. <laughs> so they go to the mess that a bunch of people can make. <laughs> all right. Let's store this back inside, I think, for now. And then we're going to put it all in the bunker just to see if we can. That's what I do. All right. You just store this vehicle. There we go. Okay. And right at the back. Yeah, it's too bad it doesn't give us like an animation like the uh, bunker, you know. But I guess I can understand that it would be hard for them to do that based on you could be doing this anywhere on the map, right? So it'd be hard for them to figure out where you wanted it. Or, or all the different ways that you could do it, if you know what I mean. If you were on a beach, if you were on flat ground, if you are on a bar, you know, it would have a hard time. So I think it's just kind of uses the same spawn system we've always had but as part of it. But that's okay. It's all right. It works. So far, so good. In the bunker we go. Awesome. Still love that. Awesome. This is definitely the biggest vehicle I've taken in so far. Awesome. And you got an animation for driving down. That's cool. And I'm driving in. Super cool. But he talks you in and just drops it like that. I was going to say, he's got his hat off when he's waving you in. Now his hat's back on. Awesome. Woo. Yeah. I definitely approve. Awesome. 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 I wish we could buy this even without the bunker. That's that's super cool. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you like that. We'll see you again next time. And my car's inside there, too, just so you know. So I guess that would mean I could just leave it here, right? And then I could also have a uh, personal, uh, stuck there. personal vehicle parked right over here, too. And I would just keep it in there if I wanted to. And then you could call that anytime you want and switch your personal vehicles to, to your backup we weaponized one or something, right? Hey! Hey! Look at that. My license plate changed. What's with that? Arg. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, you act like you didn't do that. Look, Somebody did that. What's with that? Okay, plate updated. Make sure the cap. Plate. Yeah. Then. That was strange. So uh, keep your eye on their customizable license plate if you use one. <laughs> awesome. They say I've been watching some videos. I reckon we got some untapped potential. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Do you get an animation for your taking? No, we've already taken it out. We didn't get the animation for it. But it's cool you get one for coming in. That's cool. Custom. Oh, oh, 
I hear an animation. No, it was just the door closing. Good joke. Yeah. Go. Maybe a plow test. I'd say it plows pretty good. Oh, finally stopped. But managed to push it all the way off road first. Oh, no! And your friends can hop in the back and see the blue circle almost like it's there all the time. I did that there. Is it there all the, all the time? Yeah, okay. See? Weird. Awesome. Too bad you can deploy your personal vehicle while driving. Have your friend just pop right out of it. <laughs> End of the city. You know, when you think about it, it actually handles really well for a truck and trailer. Those of you who have messed around with these trucks and trailers before just for the fun of it in the game, it's uh, actually this truck is actually handles really well. Braking, yeah, but most trucks are like that, but it's yeah, actually able to keep the track pretty well. And because it can plow so easily, you, know, you can just ignore the track. Uh, So another little thing is, uh, obviously, is the new menu. So when you go to your direction menu, hold down select, or M on the keyboard if you're on the computer, you can go into your menu here. And now we have the mobile operation center that now shows up as a new menu. Yeah, and in here you can return it to storage, which is really nice. You know, I like that in the MC menu, that you can just pop it away like that. Uh, request personal vehicle from here. Um, cab access from for everyone. So there's all your access for different people. Everyone, passengers, no one. Hmm. Empty cab. Let's go ahead and change that probably to crew and friends. Empty cab, empty trailer. So you have separate choices and radio to play while inside the trailer. Huh. Cool. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So that's all there right there too. Now let's see. Request personal vehicle. Is that just my delivery progress? Is that my just my insurgent? That I pull it out here. It's probably shouldn't look at the road. Delivery in progress. Yeah, boom, boom. Okay, so. Yeah, there it is right there. Awesome. Awesome. If you guys can see that, that truck down there is our insurgent from inside it. So let's see, let's go back in there and can we put it back in? Okay, request personal vehicle is already nearby. Return to storage. Return your mobile operation center to the bunker. Hmm. Probably want to put my truck in there first again. Because I would imagine it doesn't do it automatically. There we go. No problems getting over that. <laughs> Can I just pull up alongside it like that? No. I'm trying to figure out where the area is. Because the blue dot's more for people, not for the vehicle. See there, it works. Well, it still works anywhere in the back end, I guess. Exit our trailer. Alright, when I'm out in the boat, the license plate stays. That's good. Alright. And now let's return it to storage. Return to storage. Oh, 
Uh, well, the icon's gone. Oh, I was going to say, there it is. All gone. Okay. All right. Now, mobile operations center. Okay, all the regular stuff. Request. Mobile operations center. It just doesn't happen to look away because it, it usually helps it to spawn closer if you're looking away. If you're looking at it, it tends not to spawn it right in. Park nearby. Go through the trailer. There it is. Yay. So you looked away in it right there. Almost where we had it before. Just park nearby. Go to the rear of the trailer to enter inside. All right. Perfect. Nice. So nice and easy to get it. Nice and easy to pull it back out. Awesome. What's up, man? Alright. Yeah. All We're gonna right. rock this truck. Yeah, that's right. Alright. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Well, thanks for watching our uh, MOC, Mobile Operations Center episode. And, uh, yeah, part two. Yeah, see our insurgent in here. So I did want to show you that. I'm gonna pop out here and uh, tell you guys that I did notice afterwards that, um, you know, any vehicle you have in your personal vehicle, at least for now, inside your MOC, does not show up on your mechanics menu. So when I was out and about and I tried to call in the insurgent just out of curiosity, it does not show up. Yeah, I'd do two thumbs down if I could. <laughs> it's not a big deal, but it is interesting to note that any personal vehicles you keep in your truck do not seem to show up in the mechanic call-in menu. So that kind of sucks if you want to be around and you want to call it in. It seems to be hidden. Now that I've got it in here, I can't. Uh, it, it doesn't exist in the menu. I have, to, I have to get it in here to get it, which is unfortunate. Hopefully Rockstar will fix it in the future. I was hoping that they would have put it into this menu in here. So, or uh, not that menu, I should say, um, the uh, mechanics menu. I don't think I can call them in here. Just too bad. But just tell me, I can't get to you right now. But if you did, if we did have the menu, it would be nice if we, in that menu, you could see the mobile operation center show up. And then if you had a car there, you could select it and get it anywhere on the map, and it would go back there automatically. I'm otherwise occupied, so call back later. Lazy bum. <laughs> All right, now another thing you guys might notice is my plate here, my missing sock plate. It keeps reverting on the trailers too. So hopefully Rockstar will fix, fix that. But every time I go in and out of the trailer, every time I reload, that, that license plate goes back. Now it's just the trailer though. If you can look underneath, that, uh, that one missing sock is still there on the truck and on the front of the truck. So it actually has three license plates in total. And this one here is just fine on the front. So that keeps reverting. So a couple little notes I noticed after the end of our uh, MOC uh, part two there was that uh, was that that doesn't show up in the mechanics menu, and that that trailer uh, license plate for those that use custom plates tend to revert. And if it does, you just have to go in here, customize trailer, go to your plate, and then pick your custom one right there for free. But it's kind of annoying that you always have to do that. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. Otherwise, pretty cool. I'm hoping Rockstar will fix those couple things. It'd be nice if uh, they, they add some menus for that. All right. Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah. And if it helped you out, give us a like. And if you're new, you should subscribe. Uh, it really helps us out. It's free. And it's great to have you with us. And hello, all new subscribers. It's great to have you with us. I see the numbers growing. It's uh, awesome to have you all with us. So feel free to comment or uh, anything you like. <laughs> See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. I think I'm going to go back inside, hide away. Oh, maybe I'll drive away. Yeah. Let's take this baby out again. Yeah. She's awesome.